Hi, I'm Logan Thompson, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Leslie. Leslie asks, can I get into development without a computer science degree? I get this question all the time, and I love it because I get to say yes and then use my own life as an example. I learned everything I know from the internet and from family and friends and then eventually coworkers. The first hurdle is always time. I started learning really young, which was really, really helpful because I had all sorts of free times to just Google things and try stuff out. And if you do happen to be in college or high school or even younger, you have that advantage. But even if you're out of school and you're just looking for a career change or you just want to learn, it's totally doable. It's just all about time management. So sometimes, even when I'm just sitting at home trolling on my phone watching TV, I'll catch up on CSS or scan some JavaScript blog, and those little bits of information really can add up quickly. So if you can make the time and you have an interest in web development, iOS, Android, or anything else, you can learn enough to create real projects and gain real experience just by going online. There are tons of websites dedicated to teaching you to code, and really too many to list. I find myself recommending Code Academy a lot because that's just what I've used and where I still go when I change projects at work and I need to learn something new, and it's a really great free resource. Uh, YouTube has been surprisingly good, and I've also found full Stanford classes on iTunes U. So these courses are awesome for learning terminology and getting down the basics, but I found that project-based learning is absolutely the best route for me. If I said, I want to make a website that has this type of layout and this functionality, I could break it down into parts and create really clear goals. This has always been way easier for me than just sitting down and watching a class. I like to get in and get my hands dirty and even get ahead of myself and then just try to fix things. I just tackle each problem as it comes and then it all goes into something bigger. You'll have to find your own style, but if you have any developer friends, Ask them for the code to one of their projects. I love this trick. And you can even find some of these just by Googling for existing projects. Nothing has taught me better than editing a full working project. You can follow the trails to see how everything is connected, and you can see your changes right away, which really feels like progress, and it gets you past the scary blank canvas stage that holds a lot of people back when you're just staring at a blank screen. So self-directed learning takes discipline, but if you're motivated, you can make it happen and even land a job. The real question comes down to what industry and employers you're looking to work for. This is the biggest part of the equation because you're less in control and you want to know that taking all these steps is going to be worth it. So the good news is the employers who really get it and the ones you want to work for in my experience are way more interested in what you can do than what you studied in school. So if you do have difficulty, just build a couple small projects of your own for fun and make a portfolio website. It's all about showing off your work and showing what you can do. So if you're ready to make the leap, start learning, build things, break things, and maybe we'll see you around. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments. Thanks.